Very happy to have Chris Reed in studio. And talk about amazing life stories in this season of giving, giving hope to people who are in the throes of addiction. Well, that's what Chris does. He gets up every morning and changes the world. You should be very proud of yourself. You know that. Thanks, Steve. It's nice to have you here. Uh, you and I are going to talk in a longer form after the show today, and in some form folks are going to be able to see that video. I want to just right away say it's northerninillinoisrecovery.com. Yes. And for people that need help and want to call you, what number do you recommend? Um, the best place to start is our website, which again is right. www.northerninillinoisrecovery.com. And right there, you're going to be able to contact, uh, reach out for help, speak with an admissions coordinator right on our website. There's a live chat available and then you know all of our phone Everybody's numbers. ready. Yep. Yeah, I, I mentioned this to you before we got on the air, and I think I told you this before, but uh, my brother is going to celebrate 20 years sober on January 1st, and he's an amazing story. He's a miracle. Yeah. And you have to decide you're going to save your own life. You can't love somebody hard enough to get them to quit. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's important, and I think this is one of the reasons you're as successful as you are at this and have a healthy, happy family now is because you can talk to people because you've walked that walk. Yeah, I think that that is such a important component to this whole thing. And I, I look back on really when I went and was trying to get sober and I had gone through and met with doctors and parents and my parents' friends and, you know, just school counselors and whoever it was. And I, none of it really made sense. And it wasn't until I was able to connect with somebody who had been through it and who had thought and felt and done some of the things that I had done and was able to connect with them that I was able to really identify the solution right to getting sober in following what they did because they understood they had, they had been there and and it just was a it was a different interaction and, and today so you know that just places me in a unique position to be able to relate and connect with somebody. Well, and also and, to bring the people in you've brought in to work uh, the Northern Illinois Recovery Center's mission um, because you want people around you who can do the same. Yeah, I mean, we're made up with a, a <clears> really <throat> diverse staff at Northern Illinois Recovery that is is really made up and, and, and rooted with the recovery principles and foundations that, you know, we believe give somebody the best opportunity to get sober. How long have you been sober? Um, 13 years. Congratulations. Yeah, I think. That's wow. a great story. Yeah. Jane. Wow. Well, when we first met, it was 10 years ago through a mutual friend yep. and we, we, we talked on the radio and, and you were recently sober and your story to me, you know, what you went through and we're going to talk about that to sitting on the radio and talk and, and explaining your story. Cause a lot of people do not come through and help others like you have and see what they need to see to become mm-hmm. sober and live healthy and happy well, like you are. Well, you make are. a great point. I mean, when you hit bottom, how bad was it? You know, I, I man, it's it's hard. It's When I think back about it, it, it was pretty bad. And uh, given the the age at me at 19 and, you know, I had overdosed three times in one week and, and been, you know, revived by my Narcan on all three of those occasions. One of those was, was really even, I wasn't necessarily a suicide attempt, but I, I used enough drugs with the hope and, and thought that maybe I would just wouldn't have to deal with this anymore. And, and, uh, I, at the time I had five different court cases, five different cases in five different counties, you know, you three of which were felony charges. And I mean, my life was chaos and, uh, and it was bad. But then when you just, uh, when, when you got sober, the way you said, well, I'm going to help other people is you ha- had the other side. You had, uh, it was like a dry bar, a restaurant <laughs> yeah, that's bar, what, and this is what we talked about. Yeah, that's what started it all. I, it really wasn't by, it wasn't some grand master idea that we had. It just happened, you know, organically. And uh, I had a construction company and we had uh, a handful of you know, guys that I had gotten sober with and we just hung out in this warehouse and it turned into every night and 20 yeah, people, and 30 people. And, and it, it, so it turned into this true. sober bar and, uh, you know, fast forward 13 years later, it, Northern Illinois recovery is, is a separate organization of that. Um, but provides every level of care of treatment from detox, residential, you know, boarded PHP, intensive outpatient, outpatient, sober living, you know, the whole continuum. We're really one of the only organizations that, that provides that full continuum within uh, you know, a five mile radius and it's pretty, uh, impressive, 
uh, what we've been able to build. No question sure about is. it. Yeah. And, and uh, are you learning more about your own business every day? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, COVID was fun to navigate that the first year of being. I think he's you know, being sarcastic. Yeah. I think it was fun. <laughs> yeah, no, it was not. It, <clears throat> you know, it, and for us, it was like the highest. It's you're looking back. It was so right. so crazy. That sure. it's, it's comical, but we were the highest rate of transmission in a group home, you know, living setting, right? So and everybody living in coarse quarters, 10 to 12 people at a time. I mean, right. and we were dealing with that. I, I think an important part day. of your message, though, is is where your life is today because there's people mm-hmm. listening now who love somebody that's an absolute mess, maybe in the same sort of situation you were in, and it's breaking their heart. Or maybe it's somebody listening now who somehow is going to go to work today or somehow is still trying to fake their way through it. There is light at the end of the tunnel. So tell people about your life today. Yeah, I mean, there is a lot of hope uh, with with addiction. I see it every day, and it's it's a really difficult thing to navigate with somebody who you love or whether it's yourself. Um, but I, I never thought I'd be living the life that I live today. And, and, and if I look, at, you know, 13 years sober and I'm able to be an employer, I'm able to participate in an organization that helps a lot of people on a, on a daily basis. Um, you know, I've got three kids, uh, that are healthy and and happy and I've got a a nice home and a beautiful wife, uh, way like incredible wife, uh, out kicking my coverage certainly with, with her. And, um, yeah, I'm just, I live a, most importantly, I, I don't think about drinking and using drugs. Uh, yeah, did you ever, you know. 13 years ago, I'm sure you never did, but, you know, were you surprised at how blessed you are? I am, uh, I'm surprised on a regular basis, right, at, at uh, what I've been, been able to receive in, in life today. So. And what you're able to pass on. And, but you've got, you've got the mindset, you had the support, and now you're giving the support. So if somebody is listening and they have somebody they know that needs help or somebody themselves would like help, what's the first thing they do? Yeah, I mean that's that's different for everybody. Uh, but you know, at at Northern Illinois Recovery, we have a team of people who have lived experience, right, with it, mental health and substance use issues. And uh, I just encourage you to pick up the phone, and and we're going to have a conversation with you, and we're going to figure out what the best place is for that person to start. We we really pride ourselves on creating like an individual plan for everybody uh, because what works for one person may not work for another. And we're very conscious of that. And, and we want to meet people where they're at and, and give them an opportunity to start uh, that first step, whatever that looks like. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, what about people that love somebody that are a mess? Can you give them some resources when they call? Yeah. And that's, to be honest, that's probably more than half of our phone calls. Oh, is that right? Right. Um, wow. uh, oftentimes it's it's the people who are around that person that are trying to put the pieces in place and, and try and get the process started for that person uh, before they're actually ready to themselves. Um, so when that person is called, we're, we're extremely familiar with, you know, how to work with a family, you know, work with a loved one, work with a friend and just coordinate all the details and, and, and support. And we've even, you know, we've sent people from our team out to go meet with the family and facilitate that conversation before. Right. So we take, we really take it huge uh, uh, responsibility yeah. in, in, in feeling that phone call. Um, it's uh, Chris Reed. And again, it's Northern Illinois recovery.com. There's a special phone number, by the way, that you can call based on this conversation, seven, seven, nine, six hundred twenty four forty. Seven seven nine six zero zero two four four zero. Chris and I are going to have a longer conversation after the show. We're going to shoot that on video, and then we'll tell you where it's going to be. But in the meantime, I'm just you know this is the holiday season. God bless you that you're here, yeah, and your family. You. Yeah, it's amazing. And one of the things I want to talk to you after the show is about parenting. Yeah, because I think you're an amazing example to your kids. Thank so you. I uh, hope you see it the same way, and maybe you could give us a few words about that. So again, we'll let you know where that video is going to end up. But in the meantime. It is 779-600-2440. And again, the website's northernillinoisrecovery.com. Happy holidays, buddy. You too. Good Thanks to see you, for what Chris. you're doing. Thank you. Yeah.